Hey guys, welcome to Projomatics. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the fillet and the camber tool. Okay, so these two tools, I'm going to show you how to use them because mostly that's what is used. All right, so um, what's going to happen is you're going to define a radius for the fillet. So let's start with the fillet. So with this drawing, I'm going to make sure that this line intersects this line with a curve. Okay, that's what the fillet does. So I'm going to select the fillet tool. Then it will ask me to select my first object. When I select my first object, before you can select your first object, you can choose to set your radius. Okay, so I'm going to um, create my fillet by a radius. That's usually what I prefer. So I'll create a radius of let's say 15 units. All right. Then now I press enter. Then I select my first tool my first line after that i select my second line and you see that it creates a certain care for me so if i press enter the same parameters will be used then i can do the same for this guy when i press enter again the same parameters will be used for this guy enter again the same parameters will be used for this guy all right so that's how to use the fillet tool now let's talk about the camba okay so for the camber, let's just say I will take off these um, curves because I want the camber to replace the curves there. Take away this guy and this guy. All right. So now we have we have well we still have our lines here. They are not intersecting. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the camber tool. So let's go to the camber tool. And with the camber, well you can set a distance. I used it recently. So you select the distance, then you give it a certain distance. Okay, so I'm going to use my previous distance, 20 units. So note this is an engineering um, tool. Okay, so you should know what distance you are using, especially if you are doing road design. All right. So if I select my 20 um, units, I'm going to press Enter. Then it will ask me to select my first two or my first line. And I select this guy. In the second line, we have this guy here. If I press enter, it's going to set the same parameters for me to use again. So I'm going to do it this way. Press enter, same parameters for me to use. Press enter, same parameters for me. Oh, so just do it this way. All right. Yeah, so that's basically how to use the camber tool also. All right, so I hope you understood what's how to use these tools okay so if you are following my content and you are liking it i want you to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up all right i'll see you in the next video